Hi everyone, hope you can hear me and see me okay. I'm in a little bit of a different location. It's not, I'm not in my kitchen because I wanted to have a little bit more of a workspace. And um, we're gonna make something really exciting today. My family loves this um, and I hope you're gonna like it too. Okay, so we are making low carb sushi. Now, how do you make low carb sushi? I'm sure you guessed it. We are using cauliflower rice. Yes, we are. Okay. Now, I am not going to make the cauliflower rice, even though I made it earlier. If you're not sure how to do it, I do have a, both Facebook videos and YouTube videos on how to make cauliflower rice. Um, I also made a different time a, um, a cauliflower, um, cauliflower pizza, cauliflower rice pizza which is also how you, that's the base. I'll tell you the difference between that and this. Okay, so um, when you, and I like to use fresh cauliflower. So um, once it's, um, so you have to pulse it really, really fine because you're gonna need fine rice consistency for sushi, okay, for sushi rice. Now what I do next is I microwave it. I, depending on how much this is about this is a small head of cauliflower so I microwave this for about three minutes then I let it cool for a little bit and I squeeze water as much as I can squeeze water out you can use you can wrap it in a paper towel however it works okay then I add rice vinegar I happen to use this one Nakano, rice vinegar, you can use whichever one you like. I like this one. Okay, mix it really, really, really well. Okay, so that's your base. Okay, for nori, again, use whatever you like. This is the one I have in the house, using this one. Um, Sushi Mitsuyan brand, whatever it is. Okay, for my filling, now you can use whatever fillings you want, obviously. So just to make it a little easier, for this demo, I'm using um, baked red meat sticks. Um, I do cut them in half, otherwise it's a little thick for the sushi rice, so I cut them each long in half. I'm gonna show you in a minute. And um, I'm using a cucumber cut very thin, like shoestrings. And avocado that was cut also pretty thin okay so the prep takes a few minutes while the rice is being done in the microwave everything can be cut up so here we go we have um, we have crab meat sticks we have um, cucumbers and some avocado and use whatever you like for your filling I also use either raw or um, cooked salmon um, or sushi grade salmon. So for those of you who like sushi, um, um, sushi grade salmon, feel free to use that. I also cure my own salmon. And if you are interested, I'll be more than happy to share with you how I do that. So I buy regular salmon and then I cure it. But if you, you know, send me a comment, send me, um, and maybe I can do that another day. Okay. All right. Next tip is um, for the rolling mat. So I put it in a plastic bag to avoid, um, like first of all, it doesn't get dirty and it's a little easier to roll. And so we're gonna start. So here we go. We're gonna do nori. I'm gonna do regular um, sushi, uh, rice on the inside roll because with this kind of rice, it's a little bit hard to do um, on the outside. So this is the consistency you want. You want it to be, and also it's still a little bit warm, a little bit warm. Not like, not, not don't refrigerate this because it's not gonna be as sticky. All right, so here we go. So about less than a half from the edge, but less than a half, all the way till about, you know, close to the edge, smooth it out. Okay, here we go it out okay I take two strips of 
because you want to make sure you get to the very end take a few pieces of cucumber again depending on how much you want I like to put avocado last because it's a little sticky probably gonna need three pieces for this guy over here these are the smaller pieces right here okay now rolling away from yourself take the whole thing together the whole thing with the nori inside and keep rolling now open turn and keep going okay squeeze it out now you because it's cauliflower rice it's a little bit wetter than regular white rice but it's fine it's still manageable and I'm gonna show you the finished product in a minute so here we go this is what it looks like it's rolled okay so here's our cauliflower rice sushi roll okay you also want to make sure you use a, um, a, a sharp knife to cut it so what I do is I cut it in half first and then sharp knife and then I can either make three or four pieces on each side depending how thick you, you like it so let's see what we're gonna have at the end this side came out to four okay here we go this is what it looks like when it's done I'm gonna show you the finished product I'm also gonna take a picture for the end just to show you looks pretty enough here this is the one we just rolled that's what it looks like let me bring it a little closer hope they're not gonna all fall right there and I made ahead of time a whole plate already and it doesn't take long once you make it I also made some with cooked salmon I don't know if you could see um, and here we go I am going to taste one Ooh, love it okay Mm -hmm. Okay, does we usually use um we usually use soy sauce with it like everybody else, but amazing. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about mindset. Okay, so here we are, sushi that we can all eat guilt free. Now there's nothing wrong with regular sushi either, but those of us who are trying to be low carb. This the, the rice in a regular sushi does add up, even if it is brown rice. It does add up. It, it's carbs. So, again, it's all about mindset. You could have basically what vegetables and um, protein, sushi, guilt-free, very low carb, and just as enjoyable. So let's talk a little bit more about mindset. So something I emailed recently to my clients which I'd like to share with everybody is that a negative mind never gives you a positive life it's a quote that I got from Sarah Debbie Sarah Debbie good friend a negative mind never gives you a positive life so what does that mean I'll give you, I'll say a joke that I just recently heard in one of the talks that I heard. So a joke goes like this. A waiter is in a restaurant and he was told that this particular crowd is pretty picky and it's very hard to please them. So the waiter walked around and he said to the, to the customers, is anything all right here? Now, we all know what that's like because people are used to complaining and stating everything in the negative so basically people talk about what isn't going right what do they have to complain about and even people state their goals in the negative I don't want to be fat I don't want to you know be poor whatever it is the case is you stating it in the negative so a change in the mindset would be I want to be healthy I want to live an abundant life I want to be in the position to help others so if you're asking your higher power you know God whatever it is to give 
us the ability to be there for others, then hopefully he will give us what we need to have the kind of life we need to live. So living your life in the positive, stating things in the positive, realizing that complaining is a waste of time. Nobody wants to hear it. People are like, yeah, 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 we heard it before. But being positive and, 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 and being there for others is goes a long way. So I hope you enjoy this. I was super excited to make this again, and my family loves it. Really um, hope you like it. Please comment. I'd love to hear if this is something that you know you, you, you're interested in making for your own family. And I'd love to hear more requests. If there's anything in particular that you want to see, I'd love to try and figure out if I could make it. Also, for those of you, if you want to learn how to cure your own salmon for sushi for next time, um, it's, a, it's, an, it's, it's a recipe from my mom. She's, you know, she's done it. She's not, uh, she, was, she was born in an old country. And uh, so it's, it's her recipe. I'll be happy to share it with you. Let me know. Thanks for watching and enjoy your sushi rights and let's all be positive. Good night.